Cremona, the small town nestled in the Po Valley of northern Italy, where 500 years ago, craftsman Nicola Amati created the first violin. And where, a century and a half later, Antonio Stradivari took the craft to its highest level, a name still synonymous with violin masterpiece. Today, Canadian violin maker Bernard Newman continues that tradition, using the very same techniques to restore the old masterpieces and carve new ones for the world's top violinists. It starts off as a block of wood. With the help of a Canada Council grant, Newman began training as a luthier some 40 years ago in Cremona and stayed. From start to finish, it takes about 150 hours. Meticulously carving to achieve the rich sound of the old masters. To this day, Cremona lives and breathes stringed instruments. You can't turn a corner here without hearing a snippet of violin music rise from a window. Much of that music coming from Cremona's Stauffer Center for Strings. This fall, it launched the world's first international program for promising young violinists and orchestras, a way to draw top talent to the birthplace of the instrument. American Hannah Cho says being in Cremona has been inspiring. To come here and feel a sense of camaraderie and um, just great personalities, it's really nice to feel like I belong in a little community here. Another Stauffer student, Italian Sofia Manvati, gets the rare opportunity to play on a carefully guarded Stradivarius, worth millions, selected from the collection of Cremona's Violin Museum. If you want to do something on these instruments, it's like immediately you can do it and uh, it's amazing. <laughs> As for Newman, he says the entire town and the instruments it's given birth to have been inspiring. Once you've experienced what a um, Namati or a Guarneri or a Stradivari or what a Nini can do in how it produces the sound, um, then you, you try and fit, work that into your own violin making. A Canadian and his violins, richer for the experience. Megan Williams, CBC News, Cremona.